What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name is Greg Wave. I'm going to be giving you guys today a video uh, just the other day of what I made on one Friday night. I really wanted to show you guys this video because there is so much power in being able to go out and make money like this in one night, deposit it into your bank account, and it can just be really good for you know any kind of last minute scenario, whether you've got some bills to pay after the weekend or just some stuff coming up, or maybe you just want a bunch of money saved up and uh, or a bunch of beer money for your next night. Uh, but this was on a Friday. Uh, so this is one of the better Fridays I've had in a while, like I said, and I'm gonna throw up some screenshots so that you guys can see exactly what I did. And like I said, the main thing I want you guys to see is you could also be doing this just working one night a week, Friday or Saturday, all right? So uh, as you can see on this first screenshot, I'm going to show you guys Uber. Uh, this was actually a night where I ran Uber and Lyft. So, you know, I always recommend that if you're trying to make the best bang for your buck, you got to run both apps. Uber is generally much busier, but um, just having Lyft in there, it's going to occasionally fill in some gaps and voids where Uber might be a little bit slow. It's, you know, it happens for me all the time. And every now and then Lyft goes on a rampage and I don't really give many Uber rides. It's just always so random, so I think it just never hurts to run both apps unless you have like just a crazy awesome promotion going on just one of the apps. Then you might want to stick with just the one. But let's go into this, all right? So as you guys can see, I made $205 in a night. So, you know, not bad money. I think a lot of people would be happy with $200. Um, let's break this down. So made about 180 just in trips uh, and then I made 15 bucks in tips which is a little bit low for me but I believe a lot of these were surge rides and so a lot of times when people look at it and they're like what that's like five bucks higher than normal what do you think they're not gonna do probably not gonna tip you five bucks <laughs> so a lot of times if you guys have a lot of surge rides you might see your tips dip a lot I mean you got to understand like a lot of these rides can be expensive. Um, I gave a surge ride the other day that was 75 bucks. It was like a 20 minute ride. So, you know, I'm not really complaining that they're not tipping me on that one. I get it. That's pricey. Okay. Um, so I, ma I made only 15 bucks in tips and I made 10 bucks in promotions. Now I want to point something out real quick. Obviously like only 15 bucks and 10 bucks in promotions. That's 25 bucks. That's not bad. Could be way better, but a lot of times I think as drivers, we can become a little lackadaisical and we're not going to push to get those extra tips or maybe uh, if it's like a consecutive trip promotion, we're like, oh, it's only three, you know, three bucks for three more rides. I'm not going to do that. But the thing is, it's like a lot of times you'll hit a few of those promotions or with tips, for example, you know, if you have 20 people and, you know, maybe they're all not the biggest tippers in the world, but if they all tip you a buck, you know, that's an extra 20 bucks at the night. And maybe that's all because you were just a tad bit more personable. My point being that the little dollar amounts build a lot faster doing Uber than you'd think. It's a lot easy to make an extra 20 to like 80 bucks in tips in a single night. Um, I, I, on average, make about an extra 250 bucks a week in tips. This is just being really personal, really trying to help people out, you know, and not getting pissed off and annoyed when I can't find people, but just like really trying to cater to the customer. People will reward you, you know? Um, even if, like a lot of times with, you know, the younger generation, they're not known for being tippers, but I've seen a lot that like, just by really encouraging them or just giving them a really good conversation, They'll just throw me a buck, you know, and it's better than nothing. And again, if 10 people do it, you get 10 more bucks. So if I didn't have the 15 in tips and the 10 in promotions, uh, my rate per hour would have been down $2 per hour. And I'll go over more of that later. But there's a lot of people that work places for one or two years just to get a one or $2 an hour raise. So again, my point is that going the extra mile just to get those little tips or those little promotions that don't really seem worthwhile sometimes like maybe you'd rather just be dead silent the whole ride um the thing to keep in mind is that it's basically like losing out on a one or two dollar an hour promotion maybe even more all right so let's take a look at lyft real quick lyft obviously i did way less i made about 86 bucks um and then uh, i made eight bucks in tips and um 
you know, nothing really on lift. There's really no bonuses you can hit on lift anymore. They don't really do any type of prime time or surge anymore. They just do these small bonuses that, to be honest, I never even see. So, you know, that's why there's nothing there for that. So, total, I made about 291. Um, now, what's pretty awesome about this is when you add that out per hour, that's about 23, 24 bucks an hour, give or take. Uh, I usually spend about 25 bucks in gas every other day. So we'll take 12 bucks off that for gas. You're looking, you know, at, you know, 280, 279, and that's still $22 an hour. So 22 bucks an hour is pretty good. I mean, minimum wage here is 11 an hour. So that's double minimum wage. And that's just in one night. So obviously I made almost $300 in one night. Like, I don't know about you guys, but $300 for me, that can pay a lot of utilities. Uh, that's a car payment. That's so many different things. So what I really want you guys to see is it, a lot of times the power in ride sharing isn't just grinding out seven days a week. You know, I'm a business owner as well as I pursue a lot of other entrepreneurial things. And the main reason I do this is to have that extra side income. But what I've noticed is that a lot of times it's not effective for me to go work 60 hours. You know, I might make $1,400, but I didn't get anything else done throughout the rest of the week. And Uber and Lyft was my life for that week. But a lot of times just working one or two days a week and making an extra two, $300 in that night, um, I didn't go out as long on the Saturday and Sunday that week. I think I made 120 to 130 on the Saturday and Sunday, but again, what I'm really trying to make you guys see is that the power is in the weekends. Um, if you can't drive weekends and just weekdays, it is going to be a little bit tougher, but if you can get out there and grind out the weekends, you're going to make really good money. I mean, again, 22, 23 bucks an hour is a really, really great pace to be at. So, uh, what I did for this night, um, I mostly on weekends, I mostly am cruising residential neighborhoods. I'm looking for people going to restaurants, going to bars, I do that from like 4 till 8 p.m. because a lot of the nightlife crowd isn't really going out. It's mostly just a lot of couples grabbing dinner and then going home and letting the babysitter go or whatever, right? And then once like 9 or 10 p.m. hits, I start going out and I start trying to get towards the bars and the clubs and where a lot of the surge pricing is going to be. But interestingly, this Friday, I didn't even work until Bar Rush uh, at 2 a.m., I stopped at about midnight and went home because I was happy with what I made and I was like, shoot, I'll just take more sleep tonight. Um, so a really, really powerful night, but you guys can easily do numbers like this if you're just in a relatively decent city. Like obviously if you're in a small town, I'm not gonna say that you can or can't do this. Maybe you can, but it might be a little bit tougher. But if you're in a big city, there's no reason that you shouldn't have Fridays or Saturdays like this relatively often especially if it's the busier time of the year. Like I live here in Phoenix and Phoenix dies in the summer, but what's some, once September hits, it's really busy. All the college kids are back in town. And so with a lot of, um, a lot of your bigger cities that have colleges or just, you know, a lot of population and, and people in traffic going towards the downtown areas, you're gonna have really strong nights on Friday and Saturday. I usually see a spike in my tips on weekends if there's not a ton of surging. Usually that's just because people are happier. And again, I've noticed this so often. Monday through Thursday, the tips aren't as well. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they're drunk, they're ready to be out, they're happy. And if you're being an awesome driver, people are gonna take care of you. But tipping is always gonna be like a huge, huge part of your night. So obviously, you know, you guys saw that one to two dollars per hour. I mean that's actually a lot more money than you think about. So on the weekends, I mean, some things you can easily do to, um, to get some more tips is having water. I don't do this ever during the week because I'm just not gonna go that far out of my way for people. Um, but on the weekend, you know, I know what it's like to, you know, have had one too many and you just really need some water. And anybody who can provide that for you, they are like the savior, you know? So be that Uber driver that's got the waters in the car. I mean, if you want to go snacks, hey, that's up to you. But again, I'm not, I'm not that driver. I don't really go too many extra miles, just uh, one or two here and there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, as far as the tips, guys, on the weekends, yeah, have some waters with you. 
really good conversation. It's going to be a lot easier to make people laugh um, when they've had one too many. So that's what I got for you guys today. Remember, if you liked this video, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up. If you're a rideshare driver, there's just no reason you're not checking out this content every day or seeing if there's new videos coming out because this stuff has helped me a lot and I know it can help you guys a lot too. So awesome. I hope you guys have a killer week and I look forward to talking to you guys again soon.